On a beautiful spring afternoon, the little artist goat was painting a landscape on her canvas. The little artist goat loved painting. Whenever she painted, she focused on her task. It was so much fun for her that time flew by. I'm not saying this because I painted it, but this painting came out really good. It is such a good painting, but how? As always, the wolf was jealous of the little goat's talent. Artist, yeah, right. You couldn't even draw my tail. The bad wolf was confident that he could do a better job. <laughs> Everyone will see who's the best painter in town. That conceited goat will be embarrassed to call herself an artist. <laughs> That's such a funny painting, Wolf. What exactly did you paint? Huh? Isn't it obvious? It's a self-portrait. Doesn't it look like me? Don't I look handsome? <laughs> but this looks more like a monkey. <laughs> Artist goat isn't here. I'll put my plan into work. <laughs> Since your painting is not quite beautiful, let me add a little touch here and there to make it more beautiful. <laughs> This white smudge. Oh no, my painting is ruined. Ha! Huh. Panda bear and elephant are coming. When they see your painting, they'll know who the best artist is. <laughs> It's fantastic! The snowflakes on the flowers are beautiful! <gasps> Amazing! You can express so much emotion in a painting! Ooh. I'm so happy to hear that you liked my painting so much! What? I painted those snowflakes. Those ignorant animals don't understand anything about art. Eventually, the wicked wolf's plan failed once again. Once upon a time, a little goat who was an artist, wanted to sketch a colourful painting. She thought that using a lot of colours would make the painting more vibrant. She drew it first and then started adding oil paint. She chose the colours carefully. Hmm, this one is too dark. And this one is too light. This is too yellow. Aha! I've got it! 
The little goat's painting was extremely beautiful. The landscape looked so real. Wow! Sister, this painting is amazing! It looks as if... As if we were there! As if we could actually climb that mountain right now. What is your secret? I close my eyes first. You try it. I pictured myself there on the mountain. I even felt the cold wind. Brrr. I jumped on the rocks. Okay, now you try it too. While the little goats had their eyes closed, imagining they were on the mountain, the wicked wolf approached them. He was holding a brush with black paint. And when I'm ready, I count backwards and open my eyes. Three, two, one. When the little goats opened their eyes, they were shocked to see what happened to the painting. And zero. <laughs> Someone did it on purpose. There's black paint smeared on the window, and it's also spilled outside. The little goats were determined to find out who was responsible for ruining the painting. Look at the footprints on the ground. I think I have an idea who's behind this. We must be careful, though. We aren't too far from our house anyway. Mother would get upset if we wander off. Of course we'll be careful. Oh. The footprints end here. There aren't any trees either. I think I know who lives here. You evil wolf! You're the one who ruined my painting. I'll show you. What are you talking about? I was here drawing the whole time. I'm almost done with it. Don't ruin it. But you ruined my sister's painting. Why shouldn't we do the same to yours? Of course we will. The little goats grabbed the canvas from the wolf. But when they saw the drawing, they couldn't make out what it was. To draw. It's a self-portrait. I'm handsome, aren't I? Don't touch it. The little goats looked at each other and started laughing. <laughs> oh, you can take it back. Why are you laughing? My drawings are really good. You're just jealous because I'm better than you. Oh, sure. Of course, you're good. Did you think that ruining my painting would make you a better artist? I would have taught you how to paint if asked. Okay, I'm sorry. Teach me how to paint, please. I promise never to ruin your painting. <laughs> Once upon a time, the artist goat was crying under a tree. What's the matter, kid? 
The wind blew my painting away, and now it's stuck way up the tree. This? Yes. Can you get it for me? At that moment, the wolf had a wicked idea. I'll get it down for you, but in return, you'll make me invisible. The artist goat gave it some thought and came up with an idea. I want no one to see me. Okay, okay. Hold still. Artist Goat painted the wolf so well, no one could tell him apart from the wooden barn wall. Look, no one can see you now. The wolf was extremely happy, so he immediately went to the chicken coop. Wolf's plan worked very well, as nobody could see him. So he took the eggs one by one. When the wolf opened the coop door, even the artist goat couldn't see the wolf, as he blended with the wooden door. Oh no! I think I did something wrong. Wolf's leaving with the eggs. The artist goat went to see the dog right away and told him everything. Mr. Wolf, where do you think you're going? Why do you have all these eggs in your hands? Who? Me? You, you can see me! Don't be so sure. What about the tail of yours in the back? And the eggs back. Now, now. Well, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was just like a prank. And I'll show you a prank too. After I put these eggs back in their place. Once the dog put all the eggs back, he started chasing the wolf. My best painting! With the sun setting on the horizon and the dog chasing the wolf, the artist goat got inspired and created another painting. Once upon a time, In a painting studio, Artist Goat was painting as usual. But she was not in a good mood that day. Uh, this isn't right! This isn't right! Inventor Goat was curious when she heard her sister grumbling. What's going on, sister? I can't get the right shade of red. I think all of those shades are red. No, look, this is lobster red. This is apple red. This is rose red. This is tomato red. So, I want it to be as red as Mars. Mars, the planet Mars? That Mars? 
If you want, you can use my spaceship to go there. Really? Can I go? Of course. Cool, because I ran out of the solar system colors. Moon white, Neptune blue, and Saturn yellow. As the two sisters continued talking about colors, someone else was also listening, and it was no other than the wicked wolf. Mars red? Neptune blue? <laughs> I bet cancel paint with those colors are expensive. <laughs> I'm going to be rich! <laughs> rich! Artist Goat was excited to set off on her space journey. Artist Goat landed on the moon first. She could get some moon white. Wow! Look at that! This paint glitters! Then she went to Mars for some red paint. Ouch! A rover? Leave me alone! Let me go! Ah! Such a beautiful red! Then, Artist Goat went to Neptune. <laughs> Super cold! A bright blue paint! On her way back, she also landed on Saturn. She found the best copper tone of yellow. journey, she finally entered the Earth's atmosphere. When they landed on the farm, Artist Goat was excited to start painting again. Hello Canvas, I'm back! I'm going to create beautiful paintings! Market. I'll sell all these paintings and get rich! Then, the wolf tripped and fell. All the paints got mixed. Oh no, it can't be! Wolf, what are you doing here? Oh no, I tried to sort out these colors all day long. Is this Mars red? No, it's carrot orange now. <laughs> and this? Sadly, it turned into a great purple. <laughs> <laughs> I want my mama.
artist was worn out from painting until midnight, telling herself, only my paintings can cheer me up in this rainy weather. There was a knock on the door, just as she was about to go to bed. Hmm, I wonder who can it be at this hour in this downpour? Hello, I'm sorry to disturb you at this late hour. Is there a problem, Mr. Police? I saw something. What did you see? I don't know what it was. It was quite strange. And what can I do for you? Would you be able to draw a picture of it if I told you what it looked like? This way I can show it around. Please, have a seat. Let me get a pencil and paper. The police officer sat down, but his heart was beating fast with excitement. Here I am. You can tell me now. It was two meters tall. No, no, three meters. And its torso was short and the legs were long. You said its torso. How big was its torso? Its torso was the same size as your entire body. As big as my body? Huh? Hmm. It had a very long tail. Its head was huge for its body. There were no eyes or nose on its face. Sir, I have never seen nor heard of anything like this. I've never read about this on the internet or in books. Are you sure that you were not dreaming? Yes, yes, I'm sure. One arm was short and the other one was very long and had 20 fingers. This is quite a weird creature. It sends shivers down my spine. I'm sure that someone else also saw the creature. I'll make copies of this drawing posted everywhere. I'll bet someone else saw it. Well, I hope nobody has seen such a thing. Good luck with that. Artist drawing was finished. It turned out to be a shapeless and slightly scary picture. It was very ugly and strange looking. If that's all you want to draw, the picture is done. Oh, God bless your hands. Well done. It looks exactly as whatever I saw. I'll go now. Thank you so much. After the police officer left, artist couldn't fall asleep. Her drawing was still on her mind. What a strange drawing that was. Brrr, I'm shaking like a leaf. But I'm sure there's an explanation for this. In the morning, Artist Goat was still thinking about it. She left the house and saw the copies of her drawing. posted on some of the trees on the farm. She took one and asked people passing by whether they had seen such creature. Was that you, artist? I'm so sorry. I spooked you. No problem. I showed everyone the drawing, but nobody has ever seen such a creature. Are you still sure you saw it? I am sure. Come, let me show you exactly where I saw it. The police officer takes artist to the barn. That's where I saw it. But yesterday I was here too and I saw nothing. Look, everything is all strewn on the ground. That thing messed it up. There was a can of paint over there and it's gone now. Paint container? When the policeman mentioned a can of paint, artists looked around and immediately understood what had happened. So, 
Oh, the beast had very long legs. The policeman looked at the artist, a little confused, trying to understand what she was doing. Yes, yes, very long legs. Then artist ties the rope hanging from the wall to her waist. And a very long tail. Yes, yes, it's got a very long tail. What else did it have? Wait. Are you saying that the monster was you? But the long arms and 20 fingers? I couldn't reach the can over there. I used this mop to reach it. No, no, but it didn't have any eyes, mouth or nose. It was making strange sounds. Artist Goat takes the bucket on the shelf and puts it on her head. A bucket like this? It fell on my head! At that very moment, there was lightning flash. And the light filtered the room by where the officer was. <laughs> I get it now. I was afraid of you. I've been looking for you since last night. <laughs> I didn't know that I was drawing myself as a scary monster last night. Good thing I came across you now. Otherwise, I would have been looking for this weird thing for days. Maybe months. I never thought I'd be such a terrifying creature. La 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 My beautiful cake! What? Are you okay? Oh, my cake! Whew, luckily I saved it! I almost dropped my beautiful cake! <laughs> oh, Sorry, Wolf! Hmm, what are you doing there? Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm making cards for my loved ones. Hmm? It seems you have a lot. Of course. My mother, my siblings, my friends. I need to make many cards. What about you? I'm going to eat this lovely and beautiful cake. Where did that cake come from? Your mother gave it to me. She baked it for Valentine's Day. Shouldn't you give her something in return? What can I give her? My old vest? No, no, no. I have a dirty pillow. I washed it last month. Not that one either. Come with me. Let's make cards together. For your mom? For all your loved ones. Mm, well, okay, no problem. But let me put my cake over there first. Come on, the markers are ready. La la la. This is for Elephant. He let me use his pool last week. And uh, this is for Mrs. Chicken. For all those wonderful eggs. <laughs> And this is for Police Officer Lion, who tried so hard to find my lost watch. 
Hi, artist. I'm here to help you deliver the card. Hello, elephant. Thank you so much. It'll be really difficult for me to distribute them all by myself. Here, you can take them under the tree. We'll hand out the rest when they're done. Come on, artist. We have so much to do. You need to help me with my cards, too. Could you pass the pink marker? Give me a minute. I'm almost done. Here, but give it back. I just realized I forgot to color something. Tra-la-la. -la. My cards are ready. Yours are so beautiful, artist. And yours are so colorful. The important thing is to remember our loved ones. Oh, oh my goodness! Where is it? Where? What? Where? Help! My wonderful and delicious cake is not there, artist! Wait a minute. Hmm, I think, I think I know where it is. Where? Tell me, did you eat it? Wolf, we were together all day long. How could I eat it? Elephant must have thought it was a gift and probably delivered it by mistake. Ugh, that mischievous elephant. I bet he ate it. <laughs> While we hand out our gifts, we can ask everyone. Let's go see Elephant first. Happy Valentine's Day, Elephant! I made this for you, Elephant! Ooh. Oh, Wolf! I'm very surprised! Thanks a lot! Did you eat my cake? Cake? No, I didn't! Hmm... I thought it was a gift, and I gave it to... Lion, maybe? Lion? Ha! I'll find him! Maybe to Zebra. Zebra? Or maybe Miss Hedgehog. Come on! Don't you remember? I'm sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> my, my beautiful cake! <laughs> Come on, Wolf! We'll find your cake! Don't be sad. Happy Valentine's Day, Zebra. We made this for you. Do you have my cake? Happy Valentine's Day, chickens. We made this for you! Happy Valentine's Day, chickens! Do you have my cake? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, squirrels! These are for you! Did you eat my cake? We visited the entire farm. Everyone was so happy. They were really happy to see us, but I still don't have my cake. The wolf pretended to smile, but deep down inside he was sad because his cake was still missing. At that moment, Elephant showed up with a basket in his hand. Hello again. Wolf, I found your cake. My delicious cake! Yippee! Give it to me! No, no. You got it wrong. I remember whom I gave it to. I gave it to Monkey, and he and his brother ate it all. No, no, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sad. Everyone sent you a gift. Eggs from the chickens, milk from the cows, 
nuts from the squirrels, and a surprise from me. Happy Valentine's Day, Wolf! A big cake and lots of food! Yippee! Happy Valentine's Day! Slow down, Wolf! You're going to fall! Oh! Huh? Ah. Got it! Don't be afraid! I got it! You scared us there. <laughs> Our hearts almost stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Artist woke up in a cheerful mood. It was a great day for painting. She opened her paint toolkit, ready to start painting. But she was shocked at the sight. My oil pants! Where's my midnight blue paints? Artist rummaged in all the boxes looking for her blue paints. Dark blue? Not here. Light blue? Nope. Navy blue? What about navy blue? All my blue oil paints are gone! How can this be? Artist slid down against the wall by the window and started crying. <laughs> my blue paints! <laughs> I'm I'm cracking up here. <laughs> what? Is someone laughing? <laughs> Uh, what? Is someone crying? Artist, why are you crying? My blue paints are gone. Wolf, why are you laughing? I played a prank. I dyed all the sheep blue. You should see them. Did you paint them blue? With what paints? With the blue paint I found by the window. <laughs> My paints. I would have made beautiful painting using color blue. I would have painted bright stars and a beautiful full moon lighting up the night sky. Stop crying! I did so we could have a good laugh! They look so funny! Have you ever seen a blue sheep? Wolf! 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 Are you responsible for this? Meh! <laughs> oh wow! Aren't they cute? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf! Uh, no, officer, it wasn't me. Uh, what would I do with paints? Meh! <laughs> oh, my beautiful paints! My beautiful light blue! So it's your paint? You'd better come with me, artist. You have some explaining to do. All the sheep are shades of blue! But I, I didn't do it! I'm innocent! Say something, Wolf! Tell them you did it! Come on, we'll soon find out who did it! <laughs> this, this is the dark blue sheep! <laughs> what did you do, Wolf? Who? Me? You got me into trouble! I wish she had laughed a little too! I got her into trouble! Was I wrong to do so? The blue sheep prank wasn't as funny anymore. Wolf was now unhappy because he had taken his friend's paints without permission. On top of that, he didn't admit to the police that he had played the prank. I thought it was a good joke. I never imagined this would happen. I should go and talk to the officer duck. I hope they forgive me. Wolf was going to the police to confess his crime when he got an idea. Hey, that's a great idea. I bet they'll forgive me too. The wolf started to carry all the sheep back to the pen. Oh, wait! Uh, wait, wait, stop! <coughs> Don't run away! I won't do anything! Wait a minute! <coughs> Artist and the police duck, who watched all this from afar, were confused. What is he doing? 
I don't get what he's doing. It seems he's carrying them all to the water. Uh, uh, I'm I'm dead tired. Boy, they run fast. <laughs> the wolf started to wash the sheep one by one in the troughs in the barn. One sheep is clean, two sheep are clean, three sheep are clean. While the wolf was washing and counting sheep, he became more and more sleepy. It didn't take that long when I painted them. Uh, too bad for me, I'm not painting sheep ever. <sighs> it started to get dark outside. Oh, it's already night. I must have dozed off counting sheep. Uh, let me get a light over here. <sighs> the wolf found a string of light bulbs in the barn, but got tangled in the wire. I... Oh, ah! Stop! Stop running! Bring back the lights! Stop! The police and artist approached the barn, but didn't know what the wolf was doing. I see he cleaned up the sheep, but I don't understand what he's trying to do now. The sheeps are entangled in the court. Ha 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 Deal with it, Wolf. He always gets into trouble. Ha 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 ha. Hey, I just got a great idea. I, I'm, I'm telling you to stop. <laughs> Artist, help me please. Tell the police the sheep are all cleaned up. They'll no longer have paint on them. Please forgive me. It's no big deal, Wolf. But just had a great idea. An idea, huh? Don't tell me you'll paint the sheep. Please don't. No, of course not. But you have to help me. Smiling, Artist took the lights that had been tangled up in the sheep's feet and started sketching the most beautiful painting she had ever made. <coughs> the wolf and Artist worked all night. The result was a wonderful painting that was truly worth seeing. It's done, right, Wolf? It looks great! This is the most beautiful picture I've ever seen! Good thing I literally painted sheep, yay! <laughs> Wolf! Oh, oh okay, okay, I I'm kidding! A anyway, this paint won't come off so easily! L look at me! I've turned blue all over! <laughs> 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 that day, Artist was feeling a little blue. She wasn't inspired and couldn't paint beautiful pictures as she usually did. No, 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 no! What happened, artist? Why are you upset? I'm not feeling inspired at all. I promised to put together an exhibition for Stylish Party next week, but I just can't focus. Hmm. The other day, Genius told me something about focusing. What did he say? He told me what he had read in a book in a land far away in order to focus. Yes, in order to focus? What else? People remain silent for an entire day. How do you mean? It's weird, isn't it? 
Apparently, they don't say a single word all day long. They ought to be silent. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. I love talking, but maybe you can give it a try. Artis thought this over for a little while and decided to take a vow of silence. The day started well. She just nodded to those who greeted her. In order to avoid running into people, she took her canvas and paint kit and headed out to the forest. Oh no! Help! Help! Panicking, the wolf ran towards the artist. Oh, artist! I'm so glad you're here. You gotta help me! Artist didn't ask the wolf what had happened. The wolf thought it was a bit strange, but he didn't say anything about it. Come on, artist! Help me out! The wolf grabbed artist's arm and took her deep into the woods. I started a fire to get warm, but this tree suddenly caught fire. I don't know what to do. Although Artis didn't reply, she was worried too. So she started throwing dirt onto the flames. Artis, say something. What should we do? Artis remained silent. Oh, you're doing the thing we talked about yesterday. You've taken an oath of silence. Artis nodded. Unless you break your wow, you can't help me. Just as the wolf was about to leave, Artis grabbed his arm because she came up with an idea. She opened her sketchbook and... Uh, what are you drawing? A glass of water? Are you thirsty? Now isn't a good time, Artis! Artis opened up a new page and drew another picture. A bucket of water? Uh, water? For the fire! Uh, there was a garden hose around here somewhere. The wolf ran to find the hose, turned on the water and put out the fire. Whew. We got this. Well done, artist! Artist's silence started to annoy the wolf. Hmm. You're not gonna talk. I'll take off. I can't spend my day like this. As soon as the wolf turned his back to leave, artist heard a sound. Upon closer look, she noticed a terrified little bird on the treetop. She pointed at the bird for the wolf to see it. What? What's in there? Artist kept pointing at the bird, but the wolf didn't understand what she meant. Leaves? I don't understand anything. Are you showing me the clouds? Artist grabbed her sketchbook once again and drew a little bird. Oh, that's so cute! Yes, yes, I see it now! Poor thing! I, I'll help it down! The wolf wanted to climb the tree. He even tried to get on Artis' shoulder, but it didn't work. It's not working! What's that? What are you drawing? Is that a letter? I don't have a letter that tall! What is that? Mm, a rope. A rope may work. The wolf pulled the rope, but he wasn't strong enough to climb the tree. It's not working, Artist. We need to find another way. Artist drew another picture. What are you drawing this time? Paper? Or, uh, what is it, a, a, a bat? A uh, paper on a bat? Oh, okay, 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 it's a sheet. But what for? The wolf started to enjoy this drawing game. Is that a monkey? Am I supposed to play monkey with the sheet? 
It's a rabbit, I guess. Wait, uh, and and a grasshopper. A monkey, a rabbit, and a grasshopper. I got it! It's jumping! The wolf got confused. You, you, you want me to jump with the sheet? Artis nodded in approval and showed him the picture of the bird again. It's not me who needs to jump on the sheet. It's the bird, Artis! You are brilliant! The wolf and Artis pulled the sheet under the tree and told the bird to jump down. Then they returned the little bird to its family. That day, Artis didn't talk at all. She communicated through drawings. When she woke up the next day, she was feeling incredibly cheerful. Good morning! <laughs> so you are talking again, huh? Oh, it was so hard not to talk. Well, uh, did it work? Did you get some ideas? No, no new ideas. Ah, uh, it was all for nothing then. No, quite the opposite. Look, my exhibition is ready. The wolf was impressed when he saw the pictures artists had drawn the day before. Have you decided on a title for your exhibition? What do you think I should call it? Silence! <laughs> <laughs> That day, Athlete was so focused on her job that she didn't pay attention to what was happening around her. My egg! My beautiful egg! Okay, I have my notes now. The metal's ready and I will... Oops! Oops! Oh golly! What's this? My egg! My egg! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Wolf. I'm super busy now, but I'll make it up to you. Oh, are you now? You broke my beautiful egg! The rat and the ox have crossed, you say? That's good. You also see the tiger? Easy there. You owe me an egg. I'll give it to you tomorrow, Wolf. I'm really sorry, but it's not a good idea to sleep in the middle of the road on the most important day of the year. The most important day? Why am I just hearing about this? Today we're having the calendar races, remember? What is that? No one told me anything about this. Let's go. I'll explain on the way. Do, do explain. Where there's a race, there's a prize. And the prize should be mine. You're absolutely right. If you can cross the longest river, a year will be named after you. It'll be your year every 12 years. Wolf year? Wow, that's so cool! Besides, everyone will be giving you things for that year, celebrating you! Wolf loved the idea, so he decided to join the race. I want, I want to race as well. How can I participate? There are no requirements. Anyone can join. But the rat, ox and tiger have already crossed. So hurry up! Only nine spots left! Okay, oh, okay then, I, I show them what I'm made of! <laughs> the wolf started running with all his might. He ran and ran and ran. Finally, as he got to the river, the wolf came across a familiar face. Artist? Hi there, wolf. What are you doing here? I'm painting. It's such a beautiful day. I, I need to go across. If I win the race, a year will be named after me. <laughs> Excited, the wolf jumped into the water. Oh my! Oh my! Mommy! Artist! Artist! Try standing up, wolf. 
Oh, okay, it's not that deep. <laughs> oh, I, I, I forgot. I don't know how to swim. So, what should I do? The sheep and the monkey got a raft together. That makes sense. I'll be back. But wolf... I'll be back. Luckily, the wolf found a raft. See? Can we cross now? But wolf... Shoot yourself! I'm crossing that river! But wolf... I'm already gone! The wolf rode, but he couldn't get far because the raft had holes in it. Wolf! That raft belongs to Miss Woodpecker! There are holes in it! Oh, I didn't see that coming! The wolf was determined, so he tried to go across with the wooden stilts he made. I can do this! I can do this! Oh, I can't do this. Then he asked the dolphin for help. I can do this! I can do this! I can't do this! Then he tried balloons! I can do this! I can do this! No cheating, Wolf! Get down here! I just can't do this! Getting frustrated, the wolf made it to the shore. Wolf! Athlete just went across! The rabbit, dragon, snake and horse have crossed as well. I heard the sheep, monkey and rooster are also on their way. Sheep? Monkey? Rooster? I'll show them! I'm a wolf! Oh. The wolf pondered. If he was to lose, so everyone else should. A few balloons. And, and a ribbon, and here two chairs, mm, not bad at all. <laughs> hello, hello monkey, where have you been? I'm at the finish line, but there's no one else here. Hurry up, hurry up, I'm by the big apple tree. After preparing the fake finish line, the wolf returned to the riverside. We can now take as long as we want, Artis. There's no need to hurry. Why have you done this time, Wolf? <laughs> Believe me, I'm the greatest animal of all time. Every year should be my year. You really are. I am, uh, aren't I? Yes. Look, I made paintings of you. Each one shows your determination. You're unyielding, hardworking, determined, and most importantly, you do your best. Oh, you, you really think so? Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> yes. And you spent the entire day with me. I want to give you half my sandwich as a thank you. Artist, <laughs> you are so kind. Wolf, what is that? What? Maybe a cloud? But it's moving too fast. Maybe fog. It's coming right at us. Maybe a storm. It must be one angry storm. Wolf, it seems like they're after you. Wolf, how dare you fool us. Oh, mommy! They are the other competitors! Help! You're not going anywhere, wolf! Ah! On the next day, Artis dropped by the wolf's house to show him the pictures she painted. Here, 
the rat celebrates coming in first. In here, the horse and the snake are by the riverside. Look how happy the dog is. We really had fun, don't you think? Ah, uh, sure, sure, it was so much fun. You can tell by looking at me. And this is the celebration dinner we had after the ceremony. <laughs> I wanted to eat too. I brought some over for you, Wolf. Really? Yes, look. Don't they look delicious? <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Cinderella was at home testing some spells she had learned from her magic book. Pocus, pocus. Let the carrot turn into a watermelon. I did it! Let's move on to the next. Hocus Pocus. Let the watermelon turn into a mirror. Hooray! I did it again! At that moment, someone knocked on the door. Cinderella was surprised when she opened it. Artist? Come on in. What happened to you? I was decorating for a party and wanted to glue some feathers around. It seems you glued them on yourself instead of everywhere else. I fell into the glue bucket and all the feathers stuck on me. Do you want me to remove the feathers? No, my sister inventor applied spray on me. It's supposed to dissolve the glue, but unfortunately I have to wait until midnight for it to take effect. So what can I do for you? Well, I can't show up in front of the guests like this. I was wondering if you could host the party. Hmm, I have a better idea. Cinderella and Artis stood in the front of the mirror. I look awful! Hocus Pocus, let the mirror turn into an armchair. The mirror turned into an armchair in an instant. Wow! I've been studying magic using my magic book. If you want, I can change you back. That would be great! Glue and feathers, listen to me! Hocus Pocus! Cool! Thank you, Princess! No problem. I can also help you organize the party if you want. There was someone else watching all this from the window. Well, well. A magic wand, huh? <laughs> I could turn old stones into eggs and leaves into gold. Cinderella and Artist made their way to the house where the party would be, and the wolf followed them. Can you turn curtains into balloons? If we turn the window into a fireplace, that would be okay. Cinderella and artists began to decorate everything using magic. They turned the curtains into balloons, the tables into gold tables, and the window into a fireplace. Look! These are the goose feathers I fell into! I'm allergic to goose feathers! <laughs> When Cinderella sneezed, everything started to change again. Oh no! Tables turn into chairs and windows turn into doors. The balloons also turn into watermelons. And... and you? And me? Look! Ah, I've turned into you! It was because I sneezed! 
Can can you fix this? I will try. Ah! Uh, uh, Everything took a different shape once again, including artist. You're a frog now. Cinderella looked for her wand, but could not find it. Where's my wand? <laughs> I took it. Wolf, give it back to me. No way. First, I must turn those stones into eggs. Stop, Wolf. Right, left, hocus pocus. All should turn into eggs. Wolf. I did it. I did it. I have lots of eggs now. Give it to me. Uh, you can have it now. I don't need it anymore. Let these things be over. Let the wolf get smarter too. Hang on, artist. I'll get you back to normal. My left and my back. Hocus pocus. Oh no! Artist is not turning back to normal! What shall I do now? While Cinderella was trying to turn Artist back to normal, guests started arriving. Oh no! They shouldn't see you like this! Let's get into that room! Cinderella and Artist entered the utility room immediately. Unfortunately, the room was full of feathers that Artist had gathered earlier. Uh, a two. When Cinderella sneezed, Artist turned into the wolf, and the wolf became the artist. Hello, Artist! Uh, artist? What artist? I'm the wolf! <laughs> artist is such a joker! Good one, Artist! Uh, <gasps> when Cinderella sneezed, the room, Artist, and the wolf took different shapes. Am I back to normal? No, I'm sorry. The party's almost over. Wait, I'll handle it. Let time flow, let the world stop. Hocus pocus. Yikes, now she fell asleep. Cinderella had been trying all night long, but nothing had worked. Nothing turned back to normal. At midnight, Something unexpected happened. Hmm? Uh, am I back to myself? Look, my goose feathers are also falling off. Yay! Oh, I'm a wolf again! I can now eat my eggs, mommy! Uh, my teeth! Oh, I couldn't break the spell, but time did! My beautiful party is ruined! I am so sorry. Cinderella and Artis left the room. Artis, this is the most wonderful party I've ever been to. Everything was constantly changing. I don't know how you did it, but the whole farm is talking about your party. I think we had the best party ever. <laughs> I guess so. That day, Artis couldn't stand still because of excitement. Yay! I'm so excited! She was going to paint with her friend Zebra, only using shades of red. What a great idea! We can paint everything red. I can paint beautiful flowers, or paint a beautiful autumn landscape, or maybe I'll draw shapes. Artist wanted to check her materials one last time before she left the house. My brushes are here. Here's my palette. My canvas is here. Here's my white paint. My red paint. Uh, what? Where? Here? Not here! Suddenly, someone appeared behind her. Artist, artist. Zebra, what's wrong? 
Red? I don't have red paint. Neither do I. Couldn't find any. Who could have taken it? Artists noticed red drops on the floor. I think we can find out who took our paints if we follow the tracks over there. Two friends followed the drops of red paint that led to the wolf's house. They found him with a bucket of red paint in his hand, painting the roof. Hi guys, how are you? We're not so happy. Wolf, you got our paint. Give it back now. How is it yours? I found this at your door. It seemed to me you had disposed of it. No, we're going to use it. It's too late. This paint is mine. I need to paint my roof. I have some important guests tonight. Give us back our paint. Impossible. It's ours. Impossible. At least not today. Not today? When? Um, uh, well, um, <laughs> when it snows red. <laughs> red snow? There's no such thing as red snow. I'll give you back the paint when we get red snow, I promise. <laughs> You'll see. I know what to do. Two friends hit the road again and arrived at the Snow Queen's castle. Hello, Snow Queen. Hello, artist. Hello, zebra. What are you doing here? Artist explained what had happened, so she asked the Snow Queen for help to make red snow. Hmm, red snow, huh? You can do it right. Of course she can. She's a snow queen. The thing is, this job is a bit more difficult than you might think. How so? But it can be done. Hooray! First, we need some red paint. That's right. We don't have red paint. So let's collect all the red fruits we can find. Together they set out for the gardens. I'm picking raspberries. I'm picking cherries. Then I'll pick pomegranates. The three of them dived into the garden separately. They picked so much fruit until their baskets were full. That will be enough. Hooray! The wolf will be surprised. Let's start by mashing the raspberry first. Artists filled the fruits into a bucket and started crushing them. Okay, that's enough. Let's try it now. Casting a spell, the Snow Queen sent the juices from the bucket onto the sky and then it started raining. Yes, it's red. But it's not snow, it's rain. The most delicious rain I've ever tasted. I managed to make it rain on the first try. Let's try one more time. Zebra and Artis crushed cherries this time. The Snow Queen once again sent the juice onto the clouds, but she tried to blow it this time. Ouch! This is not snow! Neither is rain! Yes, it's hail! At least a very tasty one. Let's try one more time. We're getting closer and closer. Artist and Zebra crush the pomegranates this time. I hope it works this time. The Queen lifted the water into the air and blew it. She then commanded the wind with her hand and finally red snow started to fall. Hooray! It worked! 
It's snowing red. Hooray! You'd better go before we run out of juices. Now the wolf will see what it means to take our paint. Together, they set out for the wolf's house. Yikes! What's that? What's going on? Wolf! Uh, Artist, red snow is falling. Do you see? Oh, mommy! It's also very tasty. No, 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 no! Don't eat it! Don't eat it! What's going on? I, I. Now you can return our paint, right? Of course, take it. Please, take it now. I'm sorry. I will never take anything without permission again. But how can red snow be falling? The Snow Queen, of course. What's wrong? You look scared. But, but, this is unfair. Yay. Now we can paint. But my roof is unfinished. My very important guests were coming in the evening. I wanted my house to look beautiful. I should have asked you for the paint. Then you would have shared it with me. Don't worry, Wolf. Look, your house already looks beautiful. Wow! It looks really beautiful. Thank you very much, my queen. <laughs> the moon glowed in the night and stars were twinkling. It was bedtime for everyone on the farm. And that's it! Artist was happy because she had finished a beautiful painting. She was about to go to bed when somebody knocked on the door. Who is this so late at night? Artist, are you awake? Officer? Panda? What's wrong? Is everything okay? It's a disgrace, an outrage. Something terrible happened, Artis. You have to come to the museum right now. Artist was worried and went to the museum at once with Officer Duck and Panda. Ah, uh, the exhibition was tomorrow, right? Well, yes, it was supposed to be tomorrow, but... Hooray! I'll be able to see all the paintings! Don't celebrate just yet, Artist. Look at the paintings closely. At first, Artist didn't quite get what was going on. Then she looked carefully and figured out the big problem. The food! All the food in the picture is gone! Exactly. But how could this happen? We have no idea. Can you help us? Of course! But how? We will find out where the food went. Could somebody have arranged it? We wouldn't be seeing the empty plates and tables if this was the case. Yeah, it's as if... Well, this is impossible. As if what? It's as if someone got inside the pictures and stole all the food. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible for inventor. Wait for me. Inventor! 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 Wake up! Artist? What is going on, sis? Is everyone alright? All the food in the exhibition picture was stolen! What? How? Who 
stole it? And how? Wait a second. It was Wolf. Wolf? Yes, he came yesterday, looked at this painting and said I would love to be in it. And you built a machine for him to get inside the paintings? Yeah, he was a bit down. I thought that would lift his spirits. Oh, Wolf, who knows where you are now? The exhibition is smarter, right? Yes, but we must find him and put all the food back before all the guests arrive. Artist and inventor searched for Wolf in the dark of night. They checked his home, the riverbank, and everywhere he liked to visit. Artist, did you find out what happened to the pictures? Wolf found a way to get inside the paintings and stole the food. Wow, he really did that, huh? We've checked everywhere but couldn't find him. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? I don't remember a wolf being in this picture. Me neither. Hey, it's Wolf. Get back here, Wolf. Oh no, they got me. Hey, he's running away. There he is. Wolf, get back here! I'm hungry! No way am I letting go all of this great food! Stop! He got away again! What's going on? Huh? Wolf! Don't move! That bull is furious! He might hurt you! What do I do? Get out! But what about my food? My mom will cook the most delicious food for you, I promise! Promise? I promise! Then here I come! Ah, oh, Wolf, what did you do again? They looked so delicious! I couldn't help myself! Now we will put all of it back. Now the apples. Oh, my sweet apples. The cheese over there. No, no, I don't want to get back to cheese. Come on, Wolf. Artist and Wolf jump between paintings and put all the food back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. my food, my face. Oh, ho, 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 ho. why did you take the sunflowers? Put them back. I thought we could eat some sunflower seeds. Oh, thank you so much, artist. Yeah, whatever. Let's see all the delicious food you promised me. Artist, tell your mum to bring the food to the police station because Wolf is going to be there. First, you have to pay for what you did. A punishment? Nobody said anything about a punishment! <laughs> hey! I have an idea! Get me out of here, artist!
Wu's painting attracted a lot of attention. Thanks to him, the exhibit was a huge success. What kind of punishment is this? <laughs>